Welcome to my first cruise ever on Virgin Voyages. Decided to book a trip out of Miami aboard the Scarlet Lady. And it went for five nights to Bimini and Porta Plata with a couple of sea days rolled in. Virgin Voyages is completely different than any other cruise line, and mostly for the better. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Welcome aboard the Scarlet Lady. 9062 I'm looking for. And I hope I don't trip over these lines. It sure kind of makes me dizzy. I recently published a video on room 9062 Alpha on the Scarlet Lady. And I hope you check it out. And if you like my videos as much as I love making them, please consider subscribing. Thank you. The very first ship on the port. Ahoy, pirate ship. Guess this is the hammock over here. I'll have to set that up a little bit later. It's got two chairs and a little table. I like it. The octopus is for sale. Twelve dollars. Seems like a pretty cool souvenir. So the first place I decided to go once I found my cabin was to go to the bar. Very stressful ride through Miami. I love this Virgin Cruise. Being my first one, I really didn't know what to expect. They had a great gym that was inside and outside. They had all the cardio on one side and all the strength equipment on the other side. It was fantastic. I'll tell you more at the closing of the video. Enjoy. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try the water bottle. Refill up. Very cool. Can't read how many bottles it's saved yet. That's cool. Now, I've got some important safety information that I must Look at that gym. I just wonder how many people are gonna get drunk and then try to do pull-ups or hit the heavy bag. Could be interesting. <laughs> That's the inside of the private cabanas. First time I've ever seen a solo group meetup actually hosted. I met some great people on this cruise. We kept running into each other and had a great time. I've only had one other cruise like it.
elbow Cause I'm still in denial Get it? Oh, oh, she did I'll survive I will survive Okay, on Virgin Voyage of Scarlet Lady. Gonna head down stairs to uh, exit. Check out Bimini. Smile on in the Bahamas. to Bimini in the Bahamas, Bimini Island. Okay, I waited till 12.50 to get off the boat. There's no lines now oh, to get on that golf cart, but I think I'm just gonna walk it. Ahoy. <laughs> they look like little alligator garfish. Maybe some nesting beds. Beautiful island so far. They got these beaches fenced off. Probably some sort of private money making thing. I decided to go to the normal part of town rather than the resorts international casino and the cruise line thing we'll see if that was worth it or not yeah i decided to get off the scarlet lady and when i got to the end of the pier in bimini i decided to take a right instead of a left where all the resorts are we do have golf carts that i could have taken but i'll make it on one eventually a Smitty's Beach Bar and Restaurant. Looks interesting. Let's get a little adventurous. So it's down this road. Looks like a vacant lot. Beautiful sailboat. Walk through this little grove here. Looks like it's a construction area. Or some put some flood precaution equipment here. Barrier. Is it in shape? They've got some construction going on here. It's a very cute little town. I'm not sure many cruisers come this way. Of course, I have seen some on golf carts, but those on golf carts could just be tourists here too, staying somewhere on the island. I gotta be careful walking on this side of the road because the cars come up from behind me, so I probably should switch. Perfect timing. Okay, feeling a little safer now. And at least on this side of the road, I can see the traffic coming. What was I thinking? That's such common sense. Just did something I hate, the typical tourist moment. <laughs> Happens to us all.
like a pretty nice vacant lot here. This is a place where I met a man out back that was shucking conch. That's how you get the conch, huh? Yep, it's a cleaning it up. Oh. This is the head of the conch. These are the two eyes. That's the mouth, that's the bubble. I already cut off the face. Uh, Native, this part. Could eat this part, but it's chewy. It needs good teeth. Yeah. It tenderizes. All right. 40 minutes, and then, man, this stuff is good for soup, and kunk with a batter, kunk, bubbly salad, kunk with a bubbly and awesome. kunk, bubbly and bits, you can stew it, you can curry it, you can steam it, just like any other meat, you can use this for, along with the skin. Wow. Now I'm going to peel off the skin. How many of those do you do a day? All right, but then, custom. 150, 200? 150. A lot of shells over there. Man, oh. you're walking on shells. All this to be built in 20, oh, yeah. 23 years. Wow. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you. This yeah. is his leg it walks with. Wow. You, 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 you can clean this up without a seashells. You can decorate pits of frames. You can make earrings. No wow. Yeah, you can make jewelry. They deal with everything. That's great. Yeah, I tell you, you yeah. everything. everything from nature, too. The pearl? Yep, put it in your hand. <laughs> I learned so much from Derek. He was awesome to talk to. Love meeting him. Thank you, Derek. Okay, now I'm taking uh, the other side of the pier. I'm taking a walk. Like if you came down the pier in Bimini and took a left. Much more upscale area. It's all resort quest, I think. Some great views from these houses. This is a dancing dragon. now because we got to be back on the boat at 5 30 and it is 3 30. that looks like the rialto bridge in venice i'll bet that's exactly what it was supposed to be
I'm back at the pier. I made a nice walk, about 14,000 steps, I think. I took a right at the end of the pier and went to the old section of Bimini. Then I, came, I got a golf cart ride. I asked the guy if I could uh, give him 10 bucks, take me to the pier. He said, sure. Then I asked him how much the real rate was, and he said, $5. It was worth it. He took me all the way to the casino. Then from the casino, I went and uh, walked all the way to the beach club. That was pretty cool. Very nice. Um, then from the beach club, got a trolley back to Fisherman's Village, which is right next to the pier. And short walk anyway. And that's the pier that I'm walking right now. And uh, it's been a great day. Time to get back on the ship. See ya. Since this is my first time on Virgin, I'm not an expert. But I wasn't sure I liked that you had to get a reservation for every dinner. So I guess I'll have to come back. Look for the video.